That old man got the tractor beam out of commission. This is going to be a real short trip. Okay, hit it! <laughs> Hey, hey there, collectors. Welcome to a special Sunday episode of our show, our live show. We've got a uh, part two of the Prop Store uh, June 2021 um, catalog review. Uh, uh, let me get this out of the way. I was wrong. Rob was right. Rob kept trying to tell me that there was more Star Wars stuff in the catalog. And I'm like, didn't believe him because he's always wrong. But this one time he was right. So that's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much the situation. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I think I would give you a, a run for your money, Rob, in, in the number of times I'm wrong. So it, this show lets me get, be wrong all the time. <laughs> so, so this, uh, yeah. So the Star Wars stuff is in day three of the day auction. Yeah, there's another set of Star Wars stuff in day three. You, you mm -hmm. were right. I, you know, I was, I did, I do, uh, the other two times we've looked at an auction, they didn't have it split up into two pieces. So I was, I was convinced no. that there was, that there was, that there was nothing else. So I, I think it's, it's more interesting that they have split it up this way, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess so. This, this seems to be kind of like the lower priced items. The, the, the items that are more in my league of, mm -hmm. of being able to, to maybe get. <laughs> and mine, which is why I was familiar with them. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Simon was supposed to join us, but um, sounds like he had a few internet issues or something. Uh, so unfortunately, we're going to miss him, which is, which is too bad. I would have liked to have had him on the show today. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris is spending time with the family, and Matt. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see if Matt joins us in the middle of this. It's, it is, it is what nine 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 eight a.m. in uh, in California right now, which is extremely early for Californians. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, we'll <laughs> see if we'll see if they join us or not. But uh, hey, Jason, how you doing, buddy? Doing good. Doing good. I'm. Uh, I have to say, I'm, get, uh, I'm, up. I'm thrilled to see the painting again back over your shoulder in your regular recording area. Um, they are switched. Like though. They are switched. Yeah, it's just the. Uh, I, I can't. Remember. You kind of have the camera position just below the crotch, so I can't quite tell male or female. Crotch is gone. <laughs> crotch is on the other side. The crotch is back here. It's this guy near, near my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 talked about it so much because Jason just swapped the swapped the artwork. <laughs> uh, I think we got a we got a fun treat for the uh, for the viewers today because I'm sitting below a triple frame. Woo! Did you know? All right. Nice. Well, All right. I think that's what I think that's where Matt actually is. I think he's triple framing a few of his images. <laughs> yeah, some but, of his newer prints. And then his shells will really be finished. We need a we need a T-shirt with a Rogue One Six logo with three frames around it and say tri tri triple frame, you know. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> uh, okay, well let me go ahead and pull up uh, the auction catalog here. Actually, before I do that, I just want to recognize some of the people who have joined us in the chat. Well, it looks like all the usual suspects are out there. We've got. Uh, Traveling Jedi, Colin Paris, Ryan, um, Tony Ducker, Sean, Kekar, uh, Benjamin Bauman. Uh, thanks, guys, for, for joining us uh, today. I know it's a Sunday. It is John Heffernan. Good to see you. And here is the day three of the catalog. This is page 491, and it's the first Star Wars item is 1117. This is a big auction this time. It is. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, 1116 is a Star Wars uh, item here. So uh, you too can be an owner of a Star Wars paperweight, guys. Woohoo. What a way to start day three. 
Oof. Which is a paperweight. Um, yeah, it's a paperweight. Commemorating the three VHS release of the trilogy special edition. Oh, Not only yeah. is it a paperweight, it's a special edition paperweight. Cool. Um, yeah. So the thing that interests me on this page is the utility pouch. Of mm. course. It's it's funny, you know, I never noticed the utility pouch before, but I was watching uh, Revenge of the Sith the other day, and after, after having seen this, and sure enough, there was the utility pouch. So, you know, it's interesting to see. I think it's a a bit much for a, a utility pouch. I don't know. What about you guys? Um, yeah, they're... Um... I don't really know what to say about that one. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> we kind of skipped over it on the uh, on the first day one. Was there another utility know. patch on day on on the other day? I think I think there were a couple other ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's a it's, it's a little. To be, um, it's, a, it's a little uh, Jedi. I'm I'm more about the bad guys. Uh okay. You're one of those. So Rob, uh, with the sort of experience in in. With the experience and history you have with the auctions, I, I feel like these come up almost too often. You know, there, there seems to be quite a lot of these out there. Oh, really? They were they were probably an awful lot know. of them made. I mean, they still. The thing, I mean, yeah. it's it, it's a nice compact so finished price, piece, mean. isn't it? What is the thing underneath? I'm interested it in is. that. But the rock? Yeah. I don't know if that is model. Pod racing rock formation. Model. Is that part of the? Um, is that part of the pod race? Yeah, the pod yeah. race. Yeah, I quite like that. If you if you have a studio skill, if you have a studio skill pod race, and you have that, I'm cutting. Out. Look out! Crazy stuff. There is a Macquarie uh, drawing over here. Um, looks like a Star Wars parade. I'm having a little issue zooming in. For some reason, I can't get my thing to zoom in. Um, I wonder if I should try to download this catalog. Let me see if I can. Does anybody can do this? Don't, don't get too upset. Don't get too upset, Steve. It happens to all of us. <laughs> Downloading a catalog? No, or, uh, failure to zoom in. So yeah, I really I like that model piece. That what I really like about that is, if you're trying to infil infiltrate Star Wars into your home and 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 people like your other half don't really appreciate that, this is a sort of sort of thing that you can say is just like an an art piece. Yeah, I guess no one would really know. Sitting off in the corner on the bookshelf. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's uh, move on up. Oh, another art piece, Pod Racing Arch. Yeah, this one doesn't oh. speak to me as much. Somebody must have like an entire the entire Pod Racing set, and they're basically selling it off piece by piece here. Um, let's see, we can get somebody's scalp. That's awesome. Hmm. Evan Peel's hairpiece from Phantom Menace. Looks like it was taken forcibly. A little creepy. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's no, pretty bad. Like it's oh gosh. Um, all right. This is this is this is gonna be bad. What was the um, what's the video game? Uh, Mortal Kombat. Right? Isn't there a, mm -hmm. a guy in Mortal Kombat that has his <laughs> hair all up like this? <laughs> yeah, right? multiple yeah. arms. Yeah. Yeah, the multiple, yeah. It looks like his scalp. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, Jedi food capsule. See, that's now we're talking my price range. This is this is a little bit more affordable. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too terribly exciting on this. Keep going. Another couple more. Oh, Geonosis miniatures now. Um, let me know if you got if anything here catches your eyes, guys. Okay. Oh, you got some saber hills. I like there. these. Um, yeah, I like these production made. Um, 
There's a mulch there. This is nice. Yeah, the so... They're go ahead. affordable, especially the nice one. I like that. So what would these be used for? Um, so, these are, these are the un, so these are the unpainted resin. So when they go through... Yeah. Sorry. No, go ahead, please. I was going to say from uh, only what I know is only from watching like a lot of the behind the scenes footage, you know, whether it be like mm -hmm. the DVD extras and things like that. Um, I just learned that they make a number of these, obviously. And then once they select a particular um, saber for that character, um, there's various versions of it from stunt to hero. And even these come in where they'll, you know, just get used to it for like, let's say having that, you know, overall fill the saber and, you know, walking around with it, having it on their costume um, at times, because it's, it's, this, it's this weird thing during production that I've seen in some of the behind the scenes footage that, um, you know, if you're not visibly seeing the saber, they'll still put it in place um, on there. So they get used to the overall feel. So it looks more natural and organic. So I'm wondering if the reason why they cast these ones, these unpainted ones is for that purpose, or they just could be part of the production molding and casting. And they're just somewhere in that work in progress, um, assembly line aspect and they just never really made it forward i don't know but they are pretty neat pieces considering that they are production made yeah i, I like these yeah I, i'm i'm guessing these were just made and then never never finished and and actually used so they, they they're out of the production molds you paint them up and they would you you know you could make a kind of really good replica because it is straight out of the mold yeah didn't you look clean up yeah but uh they're pretty neat Mm. I like the mace one. Oh, there's a. a I, I didn't realize it was an Adigalia's over here as well. Same thing, but with oh, okay, yeah, so kitchen tub. I like that. Yeah. Huh. Very cool. That one's that one's got the rod in it too. Yeah, nice. Uh, a couple more. Another Adigalia and a Kit Fisto. Well, the Adigalia is a little bit more cleaner on that one, at least on the on the handle. Yeah, it's interesting. Huh. They're, they're quite low estimates. Um, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're I definitely think, affordable, huh? But I think if, that's... If it goes to that much. Yeah, I think with these, that's sort of a little bit of auction manipulation because they come across as affordable, but these are going to go, these are going to go probably double what the, the, the res, you know, the reserve of the asking is. Yeah, you're right. You're probably right there. Because it gives that mentality, you know. It's kind of like when you do your, your 99 cent auction, Steve, it's that same mentality, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. I think it would be nice to own one of these. Huh. Um, let's see. You got some swatches. Another paperweight or something. Um, oh, it's a General Giant statue? Okay. On a plaque. Okay. That's interesting. The um, the General Giant piece from the Fashion Institute of Design. I kind of like that. That's a unique piece. This, uh, this one here, Fashion Institute. Yeah. The Stormtrooper. Yeah, the Stormtrooper um, General Giant post. Okay, so. I like what it was for. I like what they. Yeah. Okay. So is that it says the costume of Star Wars? It's not the, it's not a because dressing a galaxy isn't that the name of a book? Yeah, that's the prequel book. Okay, so it's a display. Huh. Interesting that it's uh, an original trilogy stormtrooper with the prequel trilogy, um, hmm. kind of uh, commemorative thing. It's a good point. All right, we'll keep going here. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, oh, some the, sketches. Uh, pod. Colin Cantwell sketches. Joe Johnson yeah. skate pod. That's a neat one. That really is a neat one. Nice. Yeah, it'd be nice if these were the actual prices. <clears throat> <laughs> I know. I wish my name was Paul. Look at the uh, crew shirt. 
What does it say? Says Paul on it. That's great. <laughs> it's got that eighties like felt iron on too. It's like ironed on. Yeah. You see that? The font. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sure it is. Like, yeah, those, yeah, those, I'm sure those, it is. Those, those yeah, these sketches I need. I think that the skate pod's my favorite out of these. Yeah, it's great. The start, the early Star Destroyer is pretty nice, but the skate pod's fantastic. So when it says printed, what do they mean by that? So it's not an original sketch. What, what does that mean? It's is it like a photocopy? What, what is that? Do you know? It's a, it's a so die from, line, isn't it? Yeah. The die lines, yeah, they're they're a little bit, but I feel like my internet's breaking up. Um, yeah, so these are die lines where they're not they're not the original sketch, but they're it, it's not like putting it on a um, like a Xerox. It's not like putting it on a photocopy. It's a little bit more um, direct. I mean, they 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 display really nice. Um, I have a die line of the of Y wing um, that I got a couple of years back, but I think these are. We lost Jason. Looks like we lost Jason. Oh, well. We'll wait for him to, to reconnect here. Um, so I think these die lines can be quite... He's back. I think they can be quite fragile, and this is definitely one for protecting against UV. Yeah, I mean, the thing that strikes me about them, though, is it, 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 it's, this is not the original. There's Theoretically, they can make as many of these as they want, right? Theoretically, yeah, but I'm, I'm presuming that they made, you know, they were all made on the production. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, it is by no means is this the, is this like the only die line that's out there, right? There could be more than that. Yeah, they, they could be, but it's still, yeah. it's still a rare piece. I think mm -hmm. um, we bought one a few years ago of the uh, like speeder bike blueprint. Oh yeah, that huh. was, yeah. That's a nice piece. That's neat. Okay, uh, moving on here. Let's see. I really like these these sorts of research image sorts of things. So I like binders and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, how many they got here? Sixty-two images. Black and white photostats of the film's weapons. There's some good reference material there. Mm -hmm. And the um, I know Simon was looking a lot at the uh, slides. Are they the ILM models? Yeah, uh, ILM production slides. Unpublished ILM production slides from Start New Hope. 15 slides. Wait, they make it look like there's so many more. It's only 15, 15, oh, wait, wait. Okay, 15 plastic slide sheets with 275 slides. Okay. All right, it's from ESB and ROTJ as well. That's pretty cool. You know what I could do there, Rob? I could watch, I could look at those slides on my brand, brand new Trident viewer. You could. <laughs> How good would that? How good would that be? <laughs> that would be pretty darn cool. Let we'll Jason in. All right. All right. Welcome back, Jason. We we're just yeah, looking at, like the, out on at these, these island. Yeah, die lines. I was I was saying real quick. Can you get? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Like, am I am I good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're great. You're okay. great. Yeah. So the, the die lines. Um. Okay. Um, replicate too many of these. It's a diazo printing that they use. Um, you know, basically for like graphing or uh, registration marks. So there's probably only maybe a handful of tops they make of these um, that the guys would use for reference. So these are as close as you would get to the original without replicating it multiple times. Um, so I think the price on these is pretty fair, especially for the imagery, especially at a skate yeah. pod particularly. I agree, it's, it's a great piece. Yeah. I like uh, it. Am I right? I, I like them a lot. Jason, am I, am I right in thinking these are very susceptible to UV? Correct. They are. Yeah. So 
Colin Powers is suggesting yeah. that maybe there's uh, some internet that Jason can pick up from the catalog. Maybe there, maybe somebody's selling some internet here for Jason. It, I don't know what's getting, going on. Getting, like I said, uh, I mean, we have a mesh network, so I don't know. I feel like I feel like Jason's on the moon or something, and we're, everybody we're seems, waiting for the everybody seems to be having a signal to bounce back. Yeah, <laughs> wait for the signal to bounce back or something. Um, cantina door frame section. Okay. Crate dragon. Hey, look another another Death Star surface mo uh, miniature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's quite a few of those about, isn't there? Somebody so somewhere just, has, has nice, boxes though. of these. It is, but somebody's got like boxes and boxes of these in the basement somewhere, and they're selling them off slowly, slowly but surely, paying <laughs> yeah. off their mortgage each month. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, um, I, like the, I like the crew shirts. Crew shirts. Oh yeah. Check, yeah is that, what is? I love the patch. So that's that's the 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 mm -hmm. that's Darth Vader in a in a hot tub. Yep. Smoking some reefer. <laughs> Look at this Hildebrand. <laughs> oh man. That is nice. That it's remarked by Hildebrand here. Which brother? Which brother would that be? There's two of them, right? Greg and and Tim. Do you see the remarks on that? I wish I could zoom in. Uh, does anybody have the PDF downloaded? Oh, wow. I mean, that's the way to get a Hildebrand, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Sign proof poster with three character remarks. Uh, Jason, what's the going the going price for Hildebrand right now? Do you have any idea? Like it's a regular one? They're high. They're very high. It all depends so, on the image, obviously, but they're on the high end. So any idea why this is appears to be so cheap? Um, because it's just a poster. It's not like an actual, um, like it's probably not an original poster. It's just like a replicated poster, but, uh, the remarks on them are, are fantastic. The thing is, is this isn't going to go for 1200. This is probably going to double or triple. Right. Well, this says this is an original 90s, 1977 limited edition artist proof poster, limited edition artist proof poster. What does that mean? Okay, so it probably came out of so they get a batch of so whenever a poster gets printed that the artists work on, um, they'll get a you know a box of them that they can do you know give to friends, family, keep you know whatever they want to do with it, and uh, probably hence the remarks on them, hence the drawings on it. You know they can sell them, they can do whatever they want with them. So that's where that comes from. Hmm. Um, which is it's still pretty interesting because you're actually getting a poster that was sent directly or a stack of them that was sent directly to. Um, Greg Hildebrandt, and then, you know, he made the remarks on them, probably for a friend or whomever, and another person decided to part with it, or they did years ago, and now it's just making its way through, but a beautiful image, great poster, and the fact that it has Bulba, Yoda, and Vader on it, can't beat that. Yeah, I mean, some their ESB characters on A New Hope. Right, yeah, right. That's, that's tricky, but it's probably but around still, that time. Yeah, But still, I mean, for me, this is, th th I think this is fantastic. This would be piece. something I'd be interested in owning this. Huh. Nero. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, catch you, your eye, uh, Rob. Um, I like the ESB poster and the ESB patch. I like the patch. You like, you like this style? This, this, this uh, version of the poster? I, I do, yeah. I love that this poster. Is, this is the, the the is it Jung or Jung? How do they how do they pronounce his name? I want to say I always pronounce it Jung, but I could be wrong. Jung sounds right. Okay. Okay. I so never, this I is never the, claim to be right on those though. <laughs> rare know. purple variant. Okay. This and um, the Australian version ESB poster by 
who's the other um, Asian artist that did the um, Starfall piece? But those are two of my favorites. This one's fit. I think that's a good price too, considering. I mean, these range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to five or six on on the secondary market, depending on condition and you know what variation it is in, in the printing process. Yeah. I've I've just always felt that Han and Leia look really weird in this in this uh, poster. They don't look yeah. like Han and Leia to me. It's like the the main thing that I don't like about it. Of course, Luke and Leia don't look anything like Luke, Luke and Leia in the Hildebrand either. <laughs> um, cool. Oh, I like I like this I like these promo reels. I think that that would display really cool. Yeah, those would be great. Um, I, I agree. So these are just a cool sort of artifact type item that you can put on display. And uh, I actually found at a flea market two years ago. I'm not even kidding for like 20 bucks with the original case and everything. The um, old vintage cameras that we would put this on to play it. And I think it'd be kind of cool to have that on display with these two. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll look in the signature. Yeah, but that's like um, in somewhat. Uh, he's it's an owned and signed book. Okay, yeah, yeah. What a beautiful signature, huh? That's class. It is. Here we go. I love these ILM crew shirts. Wow, is that Do the you? that's really? the robot with the light bulb, right, and the top hat? I can't see because uh, it's small, but I know. And I again, I, I wish I had a PDF version of this. <laughs> Maybe you know it's what? Okay. Maybe I let me take a let me. I'm gonna. Don't While you guys link. talk about this, well, I I got this from a link, but it's. Oh wait a no, second! I, I think I might. So you get the whole batch of these. I like uh, both batches. The original, the first one we looked at, and these, I think would be smart. I think um, this this is all live now, so you could probably look at it on. Is that because this is, this is the actual catalog in it? It is actually live on the website now. Is it okay? Maybe mm. maybe I can go there and and get get. Was I not using the right one? Not using the right link? Okay, I should. Yeah, we. I should be able to zoom in. Yes. Okay, that's better. All right. So we were on item which one? Uh, Eleven sixty-eight. Ah, John sent me it too. Thanks, John. Yeah, for some reason, I just had to muck around with the URL in it, and that was able to give me the PDF. Okay, so hopefully now I can zoom in. Let's see. Ah, much better. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, I like those. Oh, get back here. There we go. Look at the crash data at the Industrial Light Magic. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of neat. I think um I think Gus just recently picked up the artwork for the probot with the, the probot with the top hat on that t-shirt. Do you, do you collect any of these um t-shirts, Jason? Um not I don't go out of my way, but I have two. I have um one of the well I have three, but one's in really bad condition. I do have the um Vader and Flames. I have the original Macquarie with Luke. That says the Star Wars. Uh, mm -hmm. The only thing is the T-shirt yellow, not like yellowed. It's, it was made on a yellow shirt, so I, I'm okay. gonna really wear it. Um, and I have one of the Van Eyes ones of the Vader in the pool, but it's 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 just really beat. Um, but I got it for I got it for next to nothing. Um, the other two are really good condition, so I, I do like them. I think they're interesting pieces. You could you could probably frame them, huh? Frame them and hang them up. Yeah, and there's actually places now where instead of instead of having to go in, going to do uh, professional framing, they actually sell frames specifically for t-shirts, jerseys, you know, things like yeah. that. Where you just pop it on, it has its own little thing where it fold this, bend that, and then boom, it's right on the wall. So yeah, I think they would look cool. Yeah. Look at that, Joe Johnston, uh, Han Solo shooting uh, the probe droid. Ah. Yeah, it's a really cool one. I like that. Love them by 14, too. Decent size. Yeah. So is this uh, so a hand-drawn storyboard? Nice. A little piece of Joe Johnson art for a reasonable price. Yeah. Wow, this is bizarre. 
Barely has no speed around. Isn't that great? <laughs> they even at one point, Steve, um, where you see the cockpit, not exactly, but they did a version of a shuttle Tidarium concept that had a similar cockpit like that. Huh. This look this this looks really flash Gordon. Yeah, it does. Exactly. Wow, spot on, yeah. It's funny that this was ESB, you know, it it came mm. after the the aesthetic for New Hope was uh, established, right? So you would have thought that by the time they got to ESB that the the Flash Gordon aesthetic would have been gone at that point. But, well, but like, here it is. I feel like ESB has um although it's got that lived in world look of all, you know, like all the original trilogy, it still has a little bit more of a cleaner streamlined look than the other two. Like just mm. Jedi and, and the New Hope have more of that lived in world where you have like Cloud City, which is very clean and sort of, you know, 2001 Space Odyssey style. Um, a little bit more of the movie outside of like uh, Dagobah have, have a little bit more cleaner look to it, cleaner feel. Mm. Even Besbin, you know, it's, it's a little bit more refined. But yeah, it's, it's always interesting seeing these original ideas and these original concepts. I'm just so intrigued by it. I don't know why it just gets me every time. Well, I think it's cool. I would be really disappointed if this was the, this was this this no speeder zooping around in ESP. I don't particularly. I, I I like the the snow speeder they settled on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Up oh, cod piece. This is this has got to be something that that would be would would scratch uh, Rob Ditch. Oh. Look, Look at, at that. that God piece. <laughs> what do you think, Rob? You know, you know, I've got a fascination for cut piece, right? Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is a nice, uh, nice piece. Definitely one that I would like to get a hold of. Without a doubt. That's fantastic. That's reasonable too. Look at that. It's uncut. There's almost a nice clean um, ABS mold right there. Mm-hmm. As Colin lineage. says, Colin says, lineage crotch, boys. That's right. Yeah, that's that's a nice piece. <laughs> wow. Great. I like that uh, Nebulon B frigate. Uh, that's really cool. That's some cool stuff. Can I see the 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 Paul um, Houston Ion Cannon? Yeah, just 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 a second. I'm 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 dro drooling on this. So, so this is signed by Joe Joe Johnston. I wonder if he drew this. Huh, man, some of this stuff. You know, I might pick up something in this auction. This is kind of neat. You got to, you've got to have a bit at least, haven't you? Get involved. Yeah, I know, right. I uh, which where did where did you want me to look at? But this uh, is okay. this is this is precisely what uh, Jason was saying. They they they've got the prices so that they you know they they they, they, in, they you entice right? you well they entice yeah. you to to have a go at least and then yeah. eventually you're gonna you're gonna start getting bidding crazy and and before you know it start getting emotional. You uh you 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 won the item. Jason, what did you want me to zip on? Zoom in on the ion cannon, the the hot. Okay, yeah, hot this is another nice, this is another neat one, huh? That's just such a great piece because we're always so used to the Death Star turn. This is just another great, um, you know, piece of uh, war artillery for for Star Wars. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Something about Hoth and the snow. I don't know why, but the snow just what a great idea for a planet. Just a planet covered in snow. Mm. Yeah, it's a really good sequence, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and the Star Destroyers by Paul Houston. It's from his collection, but wow, that's the model. That's the model work layout and sketch. Hold on, let me read that. The lot contains four hand drawn and printed work layout sketches. Um, okay, just curious. Wow. So anybody who has a a studio scale eight foot star destroyer. This would be an amazing thing to display with it. Yeah, yeah. 
It almost looks like he's got a paper airplane there. What's going on there? I think just the way it's folded. Huh. Maybe they were horsing around when they were folding it up. <laughs> really cool stuff. Um, Hi, guys. Hey. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. How you doing, Matt? How's it going? This this is the, for me, the mother of all storyboards. This is beautiful. I love this. Wish it was hand-drawn, but, God, that looks great. Is that a picture on there? Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Man. Eight and a half by 11, too. Nice. Nice size. Once, com once completed, photo prints of shots were pinned to their res respective pre-production storyboards. So I wonder if the drawing is underneath. Mm. Could be. And look at more of the Imperial Walker dra drawing and photograph. That would look great next to a studio scale walker. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's not oh, that boy. bad of an estimate for that. No. No. Yeah, we were just talking about how these estimates are kind of low. On the low side, set to suck poor bastards like us in, you know, mm, with the yeah. dream, with the dream of affordability, mm, right? right? Yep. <laughs> uh, Millennium Falcon landing foot model casting. Okay. Pretty cool stuff on this page. Oh, is that the uh, snow trooper crotch? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. at that. Cat caught your eye right away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That's fantastic. Hmm. Rob, how how are you not gonna just bid all over that? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> just keep bidding and bidding and yes, bidding. Yes, that's gonna go so high. <laughs> Wait a second, sir, sir. But you're the highest bidder already. You don't need the bid again. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be more expensive. It's it's interesting how you see the piece that's cut away. Yeah, I'm guessing. Is that having, a pee hole? Um, having looked at some of the some of the other photographs, that they vac formed the belly section and the cod piece together, mm. and the the belly section has been removed from uh, from okay. this uh, from this vac forming. Huh. So it's not Where's a pee hole. It's not, it's not where, a pee hole. Where, where? No. Oh, okay. No, it would only need to be a lot, a lot smaller. It'd just ah, leak okay. at the bottom. <laughs> but I wonder where I wonder where that's been for forty years. Somebody's been using it for sexy time. Yeah, dude. Huh. And then someone's private, private. I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of shaped like a bowl. I suppose you could eat out of it. Oh god. Somebody, uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody may be using it for sexy time after the auction. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scan half in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the production documents. Yeah, that's cool. I swear to God, my you know when you see like a dog and they when they perk up every time I see that Vader in flames, I'm just like, I love, I just love that image. Well, it would go so well with you with your print, right? That'd be yeah. really cool. That print was harder to display than I thought. You just didn't triple frame it and put it on the wall. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Is this a movie or is this a book? The space for a little romance. Marley Haley. Marla. Marla Haley. Oh, it's a poster. That's a poster. That's interesting. Never seen that one before. That's that's definitely a, a unique one. Huh. That's really cool for a poster, huh? Huh. I like that. Hmm. Yeah, that, that does appeal to me. I like that, you know, the posters that are heavy on the graphic side rather than illustrated. And uh, yeah, I like that. These, uh, yeah. Uh, Steve, these would look nice in your collection too. If even if you just did something different, but like these these film reels. Oh, you know, well, something let me like show, that. Would yeah, be really let me show cool. you something, Matt, from earlier. These are even better. Yeah, okay. those are those are really cool. Jeez, yeah. Those aren't that much at all for. I know. I was looking at these before. I'm like, oh boy, these look good. There's a lot of stuff in this day three that 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 appeals to me. Yeah. 
they're just gonna suck Steve in, and it's just gonna go higher and higher and higher. Where they go? Where they go? Well, what I told J- J- Jason, we were talking about this the other day that because Jay was planning on possibly bidding on a couple things, and I was like, well, you know what? This what the problem is is there's another Jason dumbass. There. There's another J- Jason knucklehead Jason out there that wants the same exact thing that he does. It's <laughs> just gonna they're just gonna be like bidding, you know, tummy sticking the freaking number up into the sky and then it's just going to make it ridiculous. I mean, it's going to be the same with you, Steve. If you wanted that thing, there's someone else that wants that. Oh, yeah. So it's just oh, like, yeah. oh, for sure. The number just goes up, you know? Yeah. So, so, so Matt, we need an introduction, uh, like a sound clip for when you went to the, enter the show now. And mm. I was thinking that maybe we can get Colin to record it. Yeah. And he can do, you know. We need, we need <laughs> sound effects. We need sound effects. We definitely did. Jason, you gotta get on. Just, I found, you gotta get I found on. one. Oh, you did? Like, so I found one that was like really inexpensive, but yeah. after reading some reviews, I'm like, nah, you know, it's yeah, you get yeah, what yeah. you pay for because it was like right. less than 50 bucks. So I found another one that was like right in between. It's inexpensive, but it's pretty high end for, for um, details, but uh, for reviews. But what's great is it doesn't matter if like I have it, you have it. What I can do is like if I push it here, you can have it come through. Like some, it, like I can press it, but it can be controlled like oh, by the four of us. Are you it, talking yeah, about has, soundboard? A soundboard, yeah. really? Yes. So we can have sound effects, and what happens is each of us can download the app and control the one unit from <laughs> really? your city. Yeah, it's not that wild. would be that would be a disaster. That would be a oh yeah, we'd disaster. all be it'd be like the golf oh. show. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it would be we'd have a whole show of just sound effects because we'd be like. <laughs> Everyone we need to make time Steve, every time Steve unboxes something, we have the broken glass. To... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you, you definitely, you definitely need that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on it for hundred well, we, bucks. We, it'd be a lot of fun. We need some, we need some like proper, like perverted stuff from Rob and the and the gang over there too. Like, but like, when I say proper, I mean like in proper English, right? Like, we need some of that kind of stuff. It'd be <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We could arrange uh, that. Okay, here we go. This is cool. Uh, okay. Ooh, look at those drawings. Oh, man. Oh, these are the Nile. Oh, see? Oh, that's the... Look at that. Look at the um, chicken walker. I love that thing. Oh, look at the speeder bike, too. Hold on. Here's the thing, Steve. Um, Nile did a run of these later on, like in, recently. Um, so like the biker scouts, for example, are those dated back in the eighties or are th- those dated back in like seven, 2017, 2018, They're 18, 18, 2018, 2019. Yeah. Oh, so for the recent ones. Okay. Cause he, he did a run of, um, concept sketches uh, in the last couple of years. I just, yeah. So these are them. Okay. I was wondering why they were so cheap. Okay. But it's still beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're amazing. So I, they're I, modern, I they're, names. they're modern production sketches. That's interesting. Yep. Well, he, t- oh, he Matt, did. A, Matt, that's isn't, isn't that just isn't, isn't that just another word for I drew something? Well, <laughs> like, Matt, what uh, happened was they, they did know how they do like a Rick Baker auction, a Phil Tippett auction, like pretending. Yeah. To, so they did an auction with Nilo, and he drew a bunch of new sketches and whatnot for the auction. I mean, not favorite. particularly. I could be wrong. Yeah. So he, he drew he drew stuff. You need this shirt, Matt. I know it's, it's so perfect, cool, isn't it? Definitely. That's so cool. Pretty Actually, pretty I was gonna talk to you, Jason. I think we should do. I think we should do a whole <laughs> run. We should try to make remake the production yeah. crew shirts and and sell them on our site. Why not? Oh, that yeah. would be, that'd, that'd be awesome. Oh, you should have said that out loud. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, saying. I it, we'd have to remake them. We'd have to like find someone to actually like redo them the right way because they, you know, they're not just they're not all easy to make. But that would be really cool. You have the skills. Good. We have the technology. You have the skills. On some of them, I may, might be able to. Some of them are actually really you think, right. You think you might be able to do this one, Matt? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, that's probably Look at that 80s enough. font. You think you? I know you got to you got to find the right font. And, and how uh, like the letters are misaligned here? You know, pro- dude, I, are those look like the letters would be like the puffy like? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they, they're they, like they, fuzzy, right? They're yeah. fuzzy. Yeah, the fuzzy letters. So cool. I'm telling you, yeah. that's the 80s, man. 80s was was so good. It was. It was crazy. Look at that boba armor, huh? Yeah. Mm. I believe this is made made off the the stunt set. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd need to, but I'd need to really um, look into this. But again, I think the the price of this is going to be a lot, a lot higher mm. than the estimate. Mm. 
Hey, uh, Rob, I want to spend a little recording session with you and getting you doing all your grunts. Like a, a minute ago, you said, mm -hmm. we need to <laughs> we yeah. need to get those onto the soundboard. We can do that. I'm sure we he's got some we haven't heard yet, too. Some really pri private grunts. I'd love that. Plenty of grunts. Lots Not of like groaning as well. Like we were doing yesterday, we could take the grunts, but like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, she make, make a, a song out of it. Out of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Some more t-shirts. Yeah, those are cool too. Let's see what these look like. Those are more involved. That's what I was talking about. There's some that are like super involved, like <laughs> like they're actually like little drawings huh. and stuff. Yeah. I hold up under pressure. The yeah. ILM one's cool though. The pocket tee. Yeah. yeah that's, easy, they, that's easy enough to make. They just got that eighties aesthetic to them, that that overall yeah. vibe and design. Pre-production Rancor animatics video cassette. That nice. is amazing. That is really interesting. That, Let's read this. That one. is amazing. God, I love this. This is like Phil Tippett probably has a shelf of old VCR tapes, right? <laughs> and some, and it thinks they're worth shit. And somebody sees this and thinks, "Hey, we can get a couple grand yeah, for this thing." But the, the oh, thing Jesus, after... Jesus, wait! It's, it's not. It's Betamax. What? Betamax. I haven't heard that beta? in 40 uh, years. It's beta. Uh, <laughs> good, luck, good luck playing that. Yeah, it's like original shit. It's OG. OG. I mean, like, that's that's the thing. He probably still has a Betamax player. <laughs> and actually, he probably that's probably how he watches TV. It's crazy. The guy's like a caveman. But, like, yeah, he probably does have a shelf full of this shit. He just pulls it off and goes, hey, sell this thing today. Yeah, he, he just messaged and said he no longer wants to be on the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> just kidding. Tell him to bring his collection of, of Betamax and we can talk yeah. through it. See if he can transfer them onto Blu-ray or something, DVD. <laughs> Betamax was going to be the future back in 1982. Yeah, the future yeah, is now. If, we, I, if, yeah. if I buy this cassette, how the hell am I going to play it? I want right. to see what's so, on there. You'd have to so, get, get it transferred. I think I may have seen New Hope for the first time on beta because mm. I I did see I think the first one I saw. Gosh, I, I don't know, but I remember being at my friend's house. He had a beta machine, and I remember seeing it for the first time. So I believe the first time I saw it was on beta, which is crazy. So um, two fifty, two fifty is that the? That's how many minutes long the cassette is. If you do the, it. I think that if you do it in there like that, whatever the, you know, like VCR tapes had like three recording modes where you could each, if you did the real, the, the highest quality, it was the shortest. If you did the shittiest quality, it was the longest. Mm. So this may be like at, at their shittiest quality, you could get 250 minutes. Okay. No, it's pretty, dude, okay. there's probably like five minutes on here. Yeah. Yeah. But and oh, that, that's, and that's in that, Rob, that's in seconds. That's in seconds. That's exactly my point. Did someone from the, the prop store sit down and watch the whole video? Yeah, uh, it's a good question. Yeah, because who knows what I've recorded over on my home videos. <laughs> you think there's other crazy shit on there? Oh, <laughs> there could be. There could well be. Uh, it's probably, it's probably the, the it's probably the original recording of Mad God, the first season of Mad God. They just recorded it over with. Would you call it that <laughs> for you? 800 to 1200. Mm -hmm. Nice blue harvest. All right, yeah. maybe could you get on the in on the action on this? I think that's an easy one uh, to make too. Yeah. I think um, Conjure Club was asking. There you go. There's your yeah. 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 Actually, Matt, th if we were to do it, that should be the first one. Blue harvest. Yeah, that's it's easy to make. It's yeah. I mean, after everybody... after the Ewok one, yeah, you're right. It's it is easy. blue harvest. <laughs> Our row one six production. There's yeah. there's a bunch of there's a bunch of other ones. I saw some more that I think we could probably, you know, completely yeah. rip off as well. So, all right, moving on to the next page. Oh, let me see these. Look at another Paul Houston Tie Fighter Death Star concept sketch. Oh, these are they're 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 slick. Look at these five hundred eight hundred dollar. You know these are going to get people emotionally driving these prices up. Look at the Skull Trooper helmet sketches. And that's 83. Okay, let's see here. 
So the Paul Houston, yeah, that's just hand illustrated. Five and a half by eight. Yep. All right. This one has got helmets, backside, three quarter views. Hand annotated print copy of full body. Okay, so the full body sketch is printed, obviously, but the look at look at that concept helmet of the speeder bike. That would be a cool helmet to, to, mm, to make, huh? That is, yeah, that wow. is actually powerful. Cool. It's funny because because if the, if you wore that in real life, your field of view would be about twelve degrees. Yeah, and you you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see your feet mm. or either side of you. you. You'd be screwed. Well, think about like how does like. I don't like Bo Katan or the Man Mandalorian to fight in any of the things they have on. It's impossible. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. The lightsaber duel. Yeah. Storyboard. So that's that's nice. Oh, what's this? Ralph McQuarrie Jedi Concept Artwork Prints. 45 prints. I mean, is this like the best one of the batch that they're showing on top here? Probably. I don't know. But it, this is like what is. they use for those yeah. promo packs. Promo packs, huh? Okay. You know, yeah, like they, the ones that they would pass out with the envelopes? Yeah. Yeah, I think mm. they'll have they'll have extra sh they'll have extra picture pictures of all this stuff. No, right? that's that's probably the worst one. Oh, they're yeah. amazing. I'm on the actual site looking at the extra ones that they've got. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so so I think people should know that you can go to the website and look at the item, and yeah. you'll see more pictures. Yeah, more detail. There's more details on all these. See more pics. It's funny that they would put this one on top because it it's like totally like okay it's a it's a planet. Right. Did you send me the, the link? I've sent you yeah. All right, let me uh let me pull that up. Let me try and send you this one as well. That might just be for that one item. This this one might take you to the whole catalog. Okay, so yeah, Steve, these were um printed for, again, remember we were discussing like some of the images that you purchased that were put out pre-framed, although you you, didn't, you you got the ones outside of the frame with the film cell. Then there were the ones upon the movie's release where they did like 20 or 30, depending on the movie. They put them in the envelopes, passed them out for promo purposes. I think these are just the, what's it called? The, you know, the prints, but the through-hole punch like binder version of that, which is actually still really nice. Mm. Some great images in here. Wow, Rob. This, this, thanks for the link. This is this is fantastic. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. So there's a really whole like binder it. of this stuff. Wow. Yeah, and they're really nice images. Decent size too. Eighteen, nineteen. Wow. That's they would. You, you could pick out some really cool ones and triple frame them. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Hey, how good would that be, Rob? That would be amazing. You'd you'd have to. Hey Matt, you know what you, do you know what you could do? Hmm. You could pick you could pick three images and then triple frame frame the three images. You could say six tuck six tuck. That would frame. be it. Ready? That would be a triple frame triptych. Triple frame triptych. <laughs> tri 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 triple frame tri 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 triptych. Trip 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 triptych. Yeah, no, that yeah. would be crazy. They are they are really nice though. Yeah, they're really, really nice. Really nice. So it's got two bids on it so far. It's up to five hundred dollars. So that's definitely going to sell. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, one of the top sound effects we're going to have is that like. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we have to. That, that DJ Bell. Yeah. DJ Bell. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll, we'll keep this as a reference, but we'll go back to the catalog and we'll zoom in when we when we find something we like. Production photos. This stuff is uh pretty. This is just as good as what we looked in the in the first round. All right. So look at the frames real quick uh, before you go down. Um. So Steve, did you look at look at eleven ninety nine framed hand drawing? Rory is it Carnan? Lights of a dual storyboard. 
Hold on, let me get to it here. Yeah, it should be the next one. Those are interesting. They look tiny, huh? Slices off hand. Who continues towards Peter? Oh, thank God okay. they thank God they had the had a mat around this thing. That's a quadruple mat. Look at the that size of that thing. Thick ass mat. Every time they get a small piece, they're like, just triple frame it or put a 10 inch mat oh, on it. We're shit. good. That's that's a neat piece though. Yeah, it's cool. It's interesting how Luke looks like he's wearing his um a new a hope new style. Hope. Oh, geez, yeah, it looks like a new hope. Yeah. How's that triple barrel jump he's doing though, huh? Yeah, what the hell is with that, dude? He's doing so like he's the Sonic the Hedgehog. In the nuts. What's the size on it? Does it say Steve? Um they would just the last image you just looked at had a had a, a tape measure on it. Well with the with um, the mat, of course with the mat on there it's um, so, twenty twenty one inch is it across? The, yeah, that's the so frame. The image is uh eight uh, fifteen 16, inches wide. Fifteen. So fifteen by like five or six. All right, it's not too bad. It's an acquired taste, but I dig it. Wow. Con saying you could you could triple frame. You could <laughs> triple frame each individual piece within a binder and then triple frame the binder. <laughs> and then the world would come to an end. It'd be crazy. Look at the original um, model um, cast for R2 for the Astromech. That'd be a nice one each piece to have. That's crazy. Oh, that was the five foot X Wing. All right. He's almost three inches. It's a big boy. That's a Job of bladder. Is that for real? She's like, he's almost three inches. That's a big boy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone say look that. Job, look at the Java, Java bladders. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Six various sizes of rubber. That's weird. That's going to be a difficult one to display. Yeah. yeah. You can put it with your six scale Java. <laughs> the Java bladders. What are those? All right, let's get let's get over to the thing we we know we want to look at here. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, these are nice. I like these. A wing, B wing. Man, I would love to. I would. I would love to have a play with those. And, and Rob, is this is this normally how it would be done using the plaster mold to create a? Well, you know, is that like an antiquated way of doing it? Um, a little, yeah. So it doesn't say. Oh, there's photographs as well. So it says they are production molds on some sometimes they don't claim to be production they but they're made by the production not for the production but um yeah you you would do it this way you may you may you make go to plaster make the piece and then create something off that out of one of the back pulls if you needed something more substantial maybe but i mean plaster works you can you can back on that if you're only nice doing a, if ahead. you're only doing a small a small production run, then you know you could you could easily use the the plaster ones. Is there a way to type in the number and jump to the lot? Uh, I should under the under auction search, search yeah. Jonah. Anybody get their actual catalogs in yet? I got my um, I got my sample catalog, but not my, not the larger one. Yeah, I got the I got the catalog. You got it already? I'm still waiting mm -hmm. on one. When is um, when is the actual the the actual thing is what? July. July. Mm -hmm. July first. There we go. The, the, this is this is July the first, but I think this is day three, so. Two days before mm. that. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The B wing. I think I'm more interested in the A wing. Hmm. What, what, Rob, if you were to get some of this, like, or something, how, what kind of work does it take to, to get a actual, like, something off of this thing? Like, what can, you know, is this, how does that work? Um, what I would, what I would do the process if I was, if we were lucky enough to win these at auction to, to make a replica. Yeah. Um, I would probably take a silicon mold of these, create a stronger piece, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know re recreate the mold in a in a more um, hard wearing material. Yeah, yeah. And then and then form off of that. Okay. Because if you tried to form on these and and you had a bit of a disaster. You know, like something broke or a piece of it chipped off or something. Right. Then, then you've got a problem. But I mean, you can see there where it's been fixed. If you go back one image there, you can see filler on there, which is mm -hmm. has been added afterwards because they've got mold damage. Um. Hmm. So we, I would want to retain as much of that originality as it is there. Right. That's so cool. Oh, so you wouldn't clean that up on the on your repro when you when you made a, a reproduction mold, you wouldn't clean up the reproduction mold? No, no, no. I'd keep keep everything exactly as it is there. Oh yeah. Hmm. But that's th this is quite an exciting piece. Yeah, it's really Looking, cool. Th this is this is one of the ones that I'm definitely gonna be watching. Hmm. All right. <sighs> Those are killer. Yeah, those are killer. Nice hat. Mm. I have this poster. I recently bought it. Recently purchased this poster. Oh, cool. Yeah, I really, I really like it. Was it expensive? Um, I had. I think I got it for somewhere in the middle of this price range. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Return like of the it. Jedi. Return of the Jedi trailer on 35 mil. Mm, hmm. That's cool. Look at the um, model here. Look at the Return of the Jedi double bill quad, the yellow. That's interesting with the yellow. Hmm. wonder why they chose... Um, I wonder if there was a, a print of, of various background colors. It's an interesting uh, color to choose. Okay. Hey, Rob. Force Awakens poster. Come on. I know you want it. it. It fit perfect in the background there, Rob. Oh, my word. It would really it's, class class your collection up. It's signed. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it it wouldn't it wouldn't really fit, I don't think. Well, let's just <laughs> hold on that judgment. Let's oh. let's let's think yeah. about it. Start, you would basically the idea would be you would build your collection around this. Right. It's a it's a future uh, a future piece. Yeah. What's the what's the signature? Whose signature is that? Carrie Fisher, oh, um, Carrie, Mark Hamill, Driver. Mm, cool. Oscar Isaac and Daniels. And then Matt, there's a little note that says um, by Harrison, if you want my signature, send a self-addressed self stamped envelope for $2,000. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Along with the poster. $2,000 <laughs> for my signature. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> That's in the fine print. <laughs> Guy makes more with office signature than he does his movies. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, gonna... You know what? You know what's crazy? Go up. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this. If you look in the bottom left corner, there's a um, signature from the youngling in the in the episode <laughs> one. Oh, uh, we can need to zoom in further. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Jason. 
Wait, there is there really? Yeah, the what's his name? Beadman? Is that who is that who it is? Get out of here. Yeah, he signed the he signed the bottom left corner. Look close. You gotta look real close. Are you joking? Yeah, I'm very I'm joking. Yes, very much. yes he's joking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, well, I mean, the kid signs everything, so. I know, I, know, I love it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> so I love it. It's just, it's just so happy. Uh, Jason, Jason's looking so hard in the bottom. I was like, like what? Is I got my glasses it? on and everything. Where, where is, is it? it? Where is it? Somewhere next to Carrie Fisher's in the tree? It's somewhere in there. Go. If you'll find it, you'll find it. Um. So they're getting into action figure sales too, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a they, that squad they, they've they've done their own um, toy auction in the past. Hmm. It's interesting, interesting how these have turned up. So, so I believe these Italian ones are quite rare. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the Canadian. Uh, Winds up R2 classic piece. That's cool. Does Chris have all these? Uh, does he have any of these? He's I don't think he does yeah. foreign ones, does he? Does he do foreign? Oh, I don't think he does foreign. Okay. Is that all right? I'm looking at the one in the in the bag. Is that the Japanese one? Yeah, there's one Japanese, and then there's the infamous Canadian one, the walking Canadian, and then the bag he used, the Japan one, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's been a while since I was into the vintage room, but I was in I was well, in hardcore rooms. There's quite a few toys in there. Yeah, I'm surprised to see this X-wing Aces target game. I mean, those are all those mm. are littered amongst the comic stores and eBay. And I mean the the that's the Death Squad Commander on the Italian backing card is is fantastic, but. There we go. They've got an MR ad ad in this auction. Yeah, yeah, they do a lot of MR pieces from time to time. Um, they tend to fetch a decent amount. Um, two to three. This will probably hit the four to five range. Nice. Yeah, that's the mirror base. Four to range. five. Four to five for a non snow base uh, MR uh, ad ad. That's too much. <laughs> It, I mean, it, it and, is, and remember, you're paying you're paying a twenty five percent premium I mean, on top. Yeah. Of right, too, Steve. Right? What would what would be your what would be a price that you'd be? I would I would I would look if I was going to buy MR at at um, without without fees, I'd be looking to pay two three. Okay. With the 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 the, the, the plane base, uh, you know, yeah, without, the, not, mirror not base, the snow, the mirror base, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the snow would be cost a lot more, but I but I think that you could get one. You know, around three all day long. It would be harder to get closer to two. Yeah, for sure. But I, but I haven't, I haven't looked closely at that in about a year. So my, maybe it's gone up since then. What, what about the micro machines? Uh, yeah. Signed posters. The uh, kind of neat. Those are interesting. Yeah, but doesn't say micro machines. It's not the real thing. Um, well, one of them has got the Macquarie TIE pilot running towards us, which is a, a great image. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, those ships the, in the back, it's a Falcon. Huh? Yeah. Both both nice, nice images and uh, signed as well. Hmm. They're even, they even got the Katana in the um, auction, huh? The, the Silbage? Wow. Yeah, that was a surprise. That's probably gonna hit the fifteen to two thousand mark. Oh, really? You think? Yeah, in auction. Yeah, in auction it will. People just get. You have to understand too, Steve. Some people just for the the peace of mind only buy from auctions on on items like this. They don't mm -hmm. do eBay. They don't want to deal with the headache or the hassle. So to them, the twenty five percent premium is worth the alleviation of all the nonsense and headaches and back and forth because the auction house takes care of everything for you logistically. If anything goes wrong. You know, you're backed. I mean, it's 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 a peace of mind that you're paying for on some of these things. Now, to me and you, that's silly because you can go to eBay, Macari, Direct, you know, the groups, and buy these all day and make deals yeah. and whatnot. But, yeah. Huh. That's a nice Hoth uh, jacket there. 
Um, echo based. Yeah, oh, cool. it's a replica. Uh, is that like the Columbia it, one? That's what I'm trying to look at now. Yep, it says Columbia on it. Well, those are at my um, about three years ago, four years ago. Those are at the Columbia outlet that we had here, and they were on clearance for like, oh my god, they were selling them for like a hundred, hundred and twenty bucks, and they could they couldn't give them away, man. They just couldn't. They even had the blue ones too with the um, the ESB filming crew ones. They had those. Yeah. They had they had a, such a, a massed amount of them that they just couldn't get rid of, and now I just see them going for crazy money. They're all over eBay for like eight, nine hundred bucks too. And we're at the end of the Star Wars stuff, guys. Superman's hand? Who, what, oh, Starman's hand? What is that? <laughs> Starman's light up, light up arm. Jeez. Uh, Matt, I like the way you attracted to that arm yeah. out of the, everything else on the, on the page. Yeah, yeah. I like Triple that. fist. <laughs> Stargate. Stargate wasn't a bad film. That was interesting. So there's some, there is some amazing Star Wars stuff, and there's some amazing, um, everything props else. and me memorabilia from, yeah, from a wide range of really interesting films that appeal to me in this auction. Yeah. Yeah, um, some really cool. Looks like affordable items in this in this third day. That's neat. Oh, yeah, like that. not too bad. It's a it's a huge auction, isn't it? There's a lot of people selling a lot of um, a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. They're really, they're really diversifying. If you notice, um, Rob, over the last couple of years, they're really stepping out of their box to include a lot of different elements, especially with Star Wars. I mean, it's 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 great seeing something like a Final Farts piece. A lot of the, I mean, the MR stuff was was starting to make its way in around 2018, 2019. Um, but even like the Kenner pieces, it's I think it's interesting. Mm. I like it. I like that they're doing that. If I had the money and the and the room, um, I would be all over Starship Trooper stuff. I love Starship Troopers, and well, it seems like every month they have stuff. Somebody must be. The cleaning must up be feels. A, uh, so, Phil's garage. As was Phil on Starship? He did the whole thing, man. Start to finish. That's his masterpiece. Really? Yeah, Phil Tippett, man. He did more on that than he did. I didn't know movie. that. I love I love Starship Troopers. It just that Robocop about it. was his big uh, Yeah. Yeah, he's done he's he I mean he talks about some of the um there's some good stuff online you can watch. He talks about, you know, the complications of Starship Troopers because you had to do you know, like the bugs and that, you know, so many of them and trying to replicate that with the technology at the time was, was a challenge. But uh, yeah, yeah, hat. Some, some cool stuff. That hat yeah. is great. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, look at the studio. Look at the, the concept drawings. The, those are all tippet concept drawings. Oh, okay. Definitely one of my favorite movies. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm a Blade, I'm yeah, a Blade Runner fan, so I, I I do I like it because it's so it's so tongue in cheek, it's so over the top, um, it's a great social commentary. It, it really is. It's, it's and a great and show. you get and you you got to see that chicks the, boobs. the that's showers why, the shower that's why scene. you like it, Steve. Yeah, the unisex shower shower exactly. scene, shower scene. That's great. Yeah, look at the Chris Reeve uh, back scratches there, huh? Oh, is that what that is? Really like the scratches. Okay. <laughs> the scratches. Flesh appliances. A tough I bet, you, I bet you're going you're gonna go after those flesh appliances. You'd have to triple frame or do something with that thing. I don't know how do you <laughs> how do you display a scratch? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. That's wow. Amazing. A railing section from the Titanic. No, I'm kidding. From, from the from the movie that I think, right? I mean, it's not, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's yeah. The other one's still, still exactly. On check, check. <laughs> Can't knock it. Titanic was a great movie. Yeah, yeah. I remember buying it on VHS, and it was the double cassette, two VHSs. It was like, whoa. 
Just tell me if you see something you want me to stop on. Um, uh, what about oh, oh, oh. Bella? Bella Cullen's dream casket. I was gonna say, how about the casket? Yeah, yeah, go. No, go up a bit. Go up a bit. The Tucker. George Lucas what? signed one sheet. There now, you're going down. Down, 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 down. Right there. There you go, Tucker. Print. Oh, Tucker. Oh, nice. Gosh, can you speak George English, Lucas. please? It does the same thing to me, Rob. So Tucker. Don't, don't mind. Tuck, Tucker. 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 Tuck. Tucker. Tucker. Rob, like, we should go grab, we should like, go grab like, a glass of water. Water. Tucker. Water. Woulda. I couldn't. I couldn't figure out what the hell you were saying, Rob. Took her. Tucker. Where'd you take her? I don't know Tucker. where you took her. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's quite interesting. Hmm. I wonder what's in the storyboard binder. Yeah. If only there was a place you could look. You'll find it. Where? Where's? Where's the poster signed? Um, All right. Okay. So it's he's actually signed the poster, not anything on the binder. Yeah, That's underneath his, his dream. Yeah. It really, it's like I don't know. That's kind of a, I don't know if I would have him sign there. It just fades in, blends in. Well, George probably did that, you know, intentionally to be like, oh, you want to resell this? I'm going to make it as difficult as possible. <laughs> Well, he wears plaid, so everything he sees is hard to hard to look at. So he's probably like, "Yeah, this works. This is perfect." Oh, you've gone past lot one, yeah, three, two, six. Okay, well, hold on. Let me go back to. Uh... Yeah, the the dream casket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool! You could actually be like buried or cremated in that. Imagine. You actually, really you know what? Mm -hmm. And it's only at that. The funny thing is, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the actual casket. A real casket, yeah. <laughs> you're, saving about, you're saving about sixty percent there. Talk about taking your, it, taking your collection to the grave, right? I mean, yeah, it's, is it, is it, crazy. Is it not a real casket? Is it not um, just a casket? Wait, wait, that they wait a second. If we zoom in, it is a warning sign. It says "not for actual burial" on it. Okay. Really? No. I'm, <laughs> I'm read that no, it it is for actual burial <laughs> if you be. want it to be. Yeah, sure. It's a perfect thing for the replica prop collector, isn't it? Or the, or the, or the prop Barry, collector. Or... Barry St yeah. Stephen is uh, in his Lord of the Rings statues in in, the, in this uh, in this casket with him. You could you could really see a Twilight fan like being so over the top. Oh, that sure. When they see this, they're like, "Fuck yeah! This is yep. what I'm going to be buried in. Yep. I'm getting yeah. this." You guys ever see those tombstones? There's this uh, guy who uh, does tombstones, and he basically does artwork, right? You can literally take anything that you'd like, like your 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 tombstone, right? The engravings mm -hmm. can be like a Star Wars imagery, you know, like a battle scene or like Vader, and it's so amazing the work he does. But it's just kind of one of those things where like it just reminds you that you know you get to check out one day, and yeah, it's just dude. like a weird, it's just like a weird thing. Listen, can you imagine going to a church, right? you go up to, to see the person in their casket and you're walking past and you're, you're looking, you're all sad. And then all of a sudden you see a little plaque that says this was the actual casket used <laughs> in this movie. And you're like, no shit. And you start, no now shit. you're starting to look and at, then, now you're looking at the and casket then and then you Instagram it. <laughs> yeah. And then you bust out <laughs> now your you're phone. looking at the casket going, this <laughs> is crazy. You would be, you would, yeah. you'd be photo magic it. You'd exactly. have to take your camera up. Uh, the, uh, yep, the detail looks right. There's a yeah, scratch on the this person, table here. The person in there, you just would fade away and you just be like, look at this casket. Dude, kind of like, like, like Rob, like Rob just faded away. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I think people would be taking Rob? selfies with it. Oh, he's just, he's just scratching his um, nuts or something. <laughs> picking a scratching. What's a Ouija boy? Let me see. Who's that for? Um, Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. Nice. He signed this. Hey. Oh, man. The Ouija boards wrote the signature alone. Did he ever? I, I, I'm i not going to. I'm just going to beat the dead horse on that one because this like, that's absurd. Two grand. Yeah. Person. This guy's crazy. Who's, I mean, come on. What does he think? He's Indiana Jones, Blade Runner, and Han Solo? Like, Bullshit. Who do you think he is? Bullshit. <laughs> That's like a rabbit. How are you doing? It's 
It's crazy some of the shit they sell, man. I wonder Everything. how much, what percentage, Jason, do you know what percentage actually gets through the ox, like sold for reels versus doesn't make the cut? You mean do they when they do a, like, um, when they're looking at pieces to bring into the auction? No, more like when, when it goes up. Yeah. Like what percentage of them will not go actually go for what the, the, you know, the initial amount is and they, so they don't sell it. Oh, I mean, that's really tough. Um, it's so hit or miss. There's so I many mean, pieces. I mean, but 90% of the time, almost everything at least meets its res reserve. Yeah, um, yeah. But there's all these contingencies and caveats such as like, well, do you want to have it where if it doesn't meet reserve, it's still something that's available to purchase. Like the pieces we were looking at the other night. Right. Those probably went into auction at one point, didn't sell. So it's like, okay, this is asking price. And it yeah, I got you. I got now. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're always, there will be times where it doesn't make reserve, but for the most point, they're going to put in what they call like a starting bid mm -hmm. on behalf of it. So someone isn't really bidding. It's, it's a starting bid they put in to meet that uh, reserve okay. to generate the bids. I got yeah. you. Cheating. Cheating. Yeah. Sailing bidding, shield bidding, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah. I just get fast. So Sorry, Steve. Again. No, I was just no, I was just gonna wrap it up. That was the end of the catalog. Um, nice. Some some to me, this part of the auction felt a lot more achievable than yeah. than, mm -hmm. than the other day. Mm -hmm. um, it's too bad it's yeah. like smack dab in the middle of a work day. Yeah, I think yeah. it's uh, what they say it was. It was. Um, what time is it uh, going to be at? It's going to be on. So it's on the Thursday. I know day three is on the <laughs> Thursday. So what is it run all day? You know. Um, does it start at twelve noon? Rob, nine, are you going to are you going to be able to be on? Pacific. Ugh. What was that, Matt? Are you going to be able to be on for some of that? Yeah, for sure. Be, sure, yeah. I'll be. I think we get that in. Which which days are you doing? Just the the Star Wars stuff. Probably, yeah. Yeah. No reason. To yeah, do. I think I don't think I'll be able to do most of this because of just work, which sucks. But uh, yeah. Oh well. It could be. Exciting. Gabriel will be joining us, right? For the What's that? So I think Gabriel will be joining us for the live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, okay so. well um that was a lot of fun guys any uh final final thoughts before we uh walk out it's exciting hope i hope these two sons of bitches down here get get something that'd be awesome <laughs> I think, well i think there's enough pieces in this one that we, we might do okay i'm rooting for you yeah there's some there's some stuff that i think we're gonna get it just depends yeah. how far over we have to bend over to achieve that I hear that. Yeah. Deep, a deep ankle grab is what you got to expect. <laughs> Keep in yeah. mind, the Sully the gets hit with the premium. Hold your breath. Too. Just hold your breath. And... Hey, can we have you guys not talk while Rob is doing that? I want to get a clear sound sound clip of, oh, we'll, of Rob we'll, with that sound we'll effect. We'll get it. We'll get it. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> the ankle grab sound. Yeah. All um, right. Well, cool, thanks, guys. everybody, for joining us. And uh, what's our next video? Do we have anything coming up? Um, next week, I don't know, Jason. I think we said there wasn't a whole lot going on next week, so we might try to unboxing maybe uh, gin up something. We might maybe we might do another uh, pre order, top ten pre order video possibly. Okay. Um, or nice. yeah, something like that. So we'll maybe we can yeah we might might be, might do a quick little twenty five minute emphasis update, just a little bit more of a discussion on it rather yeah. than because it's not a, a whole lot of I, yeah images to show, but yeah yeah yeah. I have, I have an idea. I was going to tell you, Steve, I have an idea for another show that, that I think would be a good thing for us to do as well. So we might okay. maybe just do something like that. We'll see. Cool. All yeah. right. Well, Rob, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Always good fun. Yes. And thanks to everybody who joined us on the chat today. It was great, uh, great interaction with you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.